Bell here. Um, this is going to be yet another latitude sort of blog. Um, I, I've dealt with sort of um, the events of Thursday and I'm just moving on. Um, so Friday was my first shift and it was incredibly exhausting actually. Um, we were serving massive amounts of pints and it was the first thing during the day. Um, so it was sort of 10 till, no, 11, no, 10 till 4. Um, so it wasn't a, an incredibly long shift. Um, it was an hour's worth of training followed by um, five hours worth of work. Um, and actually it was incredibly rewarding. We got, we By the end of it, I was sort of in the swing of how to pull lots of pints at a time because we were using these um, multiple dispensing units which pour 20, uh, no, 12 pints of um, cider at a time um, or lager at a time and I was manning that. I was also pulling pints out of a keg um, because the, the, the bitter um, that we were serving um, didn't have an MDU because well, it wasn't going to be drunk as much as the Lago and cider were, um, so there was no point in getting one of those. Um, I, I didn't deal with a huge amount of serving on Friday, um, but I, I did do one or two bits and pieces, um, and I, I kept the place stocked, which was um, my primary focus. Um, we had a huge rush, and I had poured something like um, 60 pints of cider um, and there were 20 pints of hobgoblin and there was nothing for me to do at the back of the room so I went and served five customers um, and came back to pour me pints because by the time I'd served five customers almost all of those 60 pints had gone um, we were getting through huge amounts of beer um, and yeah we, we got but I, I got um, quite experienced at doing that that in a very short space of time um i must have used the mdu 200 times in that day so um that because it pours out half pints almost exactly that makes um a thousand two hundred pints of cider um i probably did a hundred pints of um the better um I should probably mention that the cider, the bitter, and the lager were um, Somerby, Hobgoblin, and Tuberg. Um, so it, there wasn't a huge selection of beer. Um, there was just one sort of cider, one sort of lager, uh, one sort of bitter, um, pretty much throughout the entire site. Um, and yeah, I poured lots and lots of beer in a very short space of time. Um, and it was back-breaking work. I, I hadn't realised how much um, sort of effort it takes to move masses amount of, uh, of beer, but it was very, very re rewarding. Um, I, I got to see a lot of smiles walk away from the bar. I, did, I didn't get to serve anybody, uh, well, many people that day, but um, it was rewarding to just stand there and watch people walk away with a smile on the face, which wouldn't have happened half as easily if um, they had to be, uh, if all of the servers had had to um, pour the pints manually themselves. Um, so I was very, very proud of doing that. Um, Thursday was also followed by me going to see some comedy. Um, I, I saw a number of people um, immediately after my shift. Um, uh, I started sort of at the edge of the tent and worked my way forward and yet another case of me sat, being sat right at the front of a sort of act I really wanted to see I was sat um, dead in the centre um, looking up o over the barrier and um, yet again I couldn't see Dar O'Brien's legs I mean I've watched Walk the Week for well since it started and um, it's been a long time since um, you, you've seen Dara O'Brien's legs on Mock the Week, but um, it, it it was quite humorous to me that he 
um, that, that I couldn't see his legs because it is something that they constantly take the mick out of him on Mock the Week. Um, so that, that, that was quite humorous. Um, his set was fantastic. Um, the, I didn't get as involved as I'd like, but I, I was almost on camera a couple of times with um, a child that went on uh, on stage. There, there was a child called... Um, there's a child called I can't remember. It doesn't matter. Um, but he was twelve years old. He had managed to evade his parents um, and get himself into the comedy tent right at the beginning of the day. Um, and the, the compare that was introducing the acts was um, constantly chatting to him. And then Dara Brin had him on stage, um, and it, it was phenomenal um D Dara Brin is um so good at working the audience I mean he may, it's really easy as a comedian to just take the piss out of people but um Dara Brin manages to make things funny without um m making it uh awkward for anybody in the audience it's, it's really brilliant um one thing that he did that um I actually want to add to because I I think that this is incredibly hilarious and it um he he didn't touch upon it at all is he di he did his CPR routine um and he he says that there are two different songs that they use to teach CPR um Nelly the elephant um goes to the circus which is sort of a nursery rhyme and it it's not a brilliant song to do it to um, and they replaced that with staying alive but. Actually, the one that um, I was taught and was told that um, I almost certainly shouldn't be singing this whilst I'm um, doing CPR. Um, it is um, hilariously Queen's uh, Another One Bites the Dust. Um, and it, it got quite a quick beat. Um, and that is incredibly difficult to keep up. Um, and yeah, that because it's another one bites the dust. It, it's sort of the opposite idea to what you're trying to do with CPR. You're trying to revive someone, not kill them, um, with with what you're doing. So I I thought it was hilarious, and um, I did want to tell him about it, and I, I thought it would um, enhance his act if he ever does that bit, that skit again. Um, Maybe he'll see this, I don't know. Um, I, I did actually have uh, some free beers given to me at the end of my shift, so I actually wanted to chase him down and um, share a free beer with him. Um, but I couldn't find him. Um, I, I looked all over sight and I probably just missed him. Um, didn't, sp uh, didn't stay on site for uh, all the evening because... Well, I, I had another shift the following day, but um, I stayed on site for quite a while, um, and it was quite fun. Um, uh, um, so yeah, that that that's sort of what happened on Thursday, uh, no Friday even. Um, and yeah, the, there were a number of acts that were quite brilliant, um, and I don't actually remember the names of half of them. Um, I didn't get a phone call. I wonder whether that will stop it coming through. I didn't get um, the names of half the acts. I didn't get a program, which I probably should have done, but it was just out of my price range. I didn't have the money for it. Um, it's one of those things, but I, I will try and piece together who I saw um, and give links to it. Um, no, the f phone's finally gone. Um, so yeah, that that's that. Um, I, if if you want to ask me questions, I I am still gonna do an ask me tag. Um, and I haven't had that many questions. If I don't get enough questions to do the tag, I will just um spam Ask FM's random button and um get questions that way. Um, but I would really like to answer some audience questions, so feel free to ask. 
um, pretty much anything. Um, and yeah, um, Ask FM, the links are below. Um, Twitter, feel free to follow me. Uh, subscribe on YouTube. Um, uh, I've got Instagram and um, what's the other one? Tumblr, and that pretty much all the same content because I use a program, a, a, a website called Ift to link them together. Um, and I'll talk about Ift another time. Um, so, yeah, that's that. Um, I think that's everything. Uh, I don't think I've forgotten anything. So, Johnny DL, out. <laughs>